Hi, my friends. Welcome to class. My name is Angie. Um, today, we're actually going to be doing a kapha lifting, kapha pacifying um, sequence. Some of you might be like, well, what are you talking about? So kapha out of balance. This is a dosha. This is a type in Ayurveda. Um, when it's out of balance, we might experience some inertia, some heaviness, darkness, depression, lethargy lethargy, just really feeling unmotivated. Um, and I've been feeling a little bit of that lately. So I'm like, all right, we got to lift this tamas. It's this, it's a guna, it's a quality. Tamas is that darkness, that heaviness, um, that inertia. So in order to lift it, we bring in the element of fire um, and we're really going to ground as well. So we're going to build strength through the legs. We'll open through the chest. So kapha governs and lives the lungs and the heart. So we open the heart and the lungs to help with grief, to energize and uplift. So with that, we're just going to jump right into it with some cat cows. So We'll meet in tabletop, stack the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. Drop the belly, lift the chest, pull the heart forward. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press the ground away, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Press the heart towards the sky. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Open the heart here. Exhale to round. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So immediately opening the heart and the lungs. Drop the belly, lift the chest. Big breaths. Exhale to round. A few more. Good. Set the hips back. We're going to sit on the ankles here or a block, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to do a few um, rounds of Kapalabhati, but we'll stretch through the spine first. Inhale the arms up, reach up high. Exhale, Pratapana, side bend to the left. Inhale to open the heart. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend, opposite side. Inhale, open the heart. Stay for an exhale. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, grow the spine tall. Exhale to twist. One more, inhale. Twist. Inhale through center, reach high. There's squirrels playing behind me. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Again, grow the spine tall, lengthen, breathe in. Twist. Inhale to reach high. Exhale, palms lower down. We'll move into Kapalabhati. This is our shining skull breath. It's meant to illuminate the prefrontal cortex of the brain, which is going to uplift and energize and help with mental clarity. So it's going to kind of brush away that mental fog. Feel free to take your hand to the belly just to feel the belly pump. So what we're doing here is forceful exhale. So we're going to exhale and the belly kind of pumps in and then releases. So exhale, try that. Good, so we're gonna do that together for about 30 seconds. So we'll take a big breath in, fill all the way up. Begin. Good. Inhale. Hold the breath at the top. Feel the spine nice and tall. Crown of the head lifts up. 
gentle tuck of the chin, creating a little lock here. Whenever you're ready to exhale, and only when you're ready, release. Let the breathing come back to normal. And just notice. And gazing at the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows. We'll go for a second round. So the inhales are passively happening. We're not forcefully inhaling. You might inhale a little bit naturally just because that's what happens when the diaphragm contracts. It's gonna take in a little bit of air. That's okay. So forceful exhales, let the inhale happen. Breath in, begin. Gentle chin lock here, Jala, Jaladara Bandha. And you could even get the other Bandhas involved if you'd like as well. Kind of pulling up through the anus, tucking the belly button to spine. Kind of drawing this energy up, yeah. Whenever you're ready, releasing and observing. Good, blink the eyes open. Go ahead and come up off your prop. And then we'll meet in a downward facing dog. Taking your time to get there. And really staying anchored to the breath here. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Pedal out your dog. Press the heart towards the feet. Spread the fingers really wide, really strong through the upper body here. We're like pressing the ground away. You'll feel the shoulders press away from the hands. Bend in the knees. Tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. So we'll anchor into our ujjayi breath here. This is our oceanic breath. That slight constriction in the back of the throat helps to build heat in the body. Heat uplifts, it transforms. Take a breath in, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the heart forward, Wiggle the spine nice and tall. Shoulders are back and down the spine. So this awareness on the heart pressing forward at all times. Long spine. Glutes are active here. We're also strong through the legs. See if you could shift your weight forward into the toes. Notice how that changes the engagement a bit. Keep pressing the heart forward. Breath in. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, press down through the feet, reach up tall. Palms lower down through heart center, Anjali Mudra. A few sun salutations to energize. Inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, plant the palms, high plank, lower down halfway, low plank. Pull the heart forward, drop the hips. Floating off the ground, pull the hip joints forward, express the heart, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale to lift, halfway. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rise, reach high. Palms lower down. Inhale to reach. Maybe a tiny back bend, squeezing the glutes, pressing the hips forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, plant the palms. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Palms lower down. Inhale to reach. Tiny back bend. Exhale to fold. Lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant the palms. Step or hop back. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Reach high. Exhale, palms lower down. Inhale to lift, tiny back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Listen for the change. Halfway lift, breath in. Exhale, plant the palms. Left foot steps back, left knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high on Janayasana. Keep reaching through the arms. There's oh, this tiny back bend happening here. We're always keeping the heart really lifted. Anything kapha pacifying, we're opening through the heart. We're strong through the upper body. Anchored through the feet, grounded through the feet. Keep breathing. Breath in. Exhale, twist open. Drop the right arm to reach back behind you. Breath in as you reach through each hand to twist a bit further. Stay over the exhale. Breath in. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, plant the palms. Right foot steps back, right knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high, Anjane Asana. Settling in here, keep your breath flowing. Keep reaching, strong base. Breath in, exhale, left arm drops down, right arm reaches forward, twist. Breath in, reach through the hands, twist through the core. Stay for an exhale, then another inhale. Last exhale, inhale through center, reach high. Exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Exhale, palms lower down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms. Left foot steps back, left knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high. Anjane Asana. Stay here. Breathing. Really trying to cultivate this like strength and determination. It's like, okay, yes, I can do this. I can hold this. I'm strong. I'm capable. I have energy. I'm uplifting. Breath in. Exhale. Twist open to the right. 
breath in to reach. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, switch sides. Plant the palms, right foot steps back, right knee drops down. Inhale, the arms high. Breath in, twist open towards the left, inhale to reach, stay for the exhale, inhale through center, forward fold, inhale to lift halfway, exhale fold, inhale rise, reach high. Exhale, right back down, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, plant the palms, step back, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up this time, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Stay for a breath in. Exhale to flip your dog. Right foot lands behind you. Inhale, reach the hips high, reach through the arms, taking a back bend here. Stay for a breath in, a breath out. Inhale, back through center, right leg high. Exhale, step through, high crescent lunge, right foot plants, inhale the arms high. Settling in here, five breaths. Nice bend in the front knee, really pushing off the back toes, strength through the base. Again, reach through the upper body, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Breath in. Exhale, open up, back heel drops in and down, drop the arms, warrior two. I'm gonna keep the right knee open towards the pinky side edge of the mat as you reach through the arms, proud through the chest, lift up. Tailbone is tucked, core is engaged. Keep your drishti your sights, your focus over the front middle finger. Inhale to straighten the front leg. Exhale to reach forward. And drop the right arm down. Left the, lift the left arm up for Trikonasana. Option to take the Right hand to the shin or to a block. This sensation of opening the heart here. Feel this really nice stretch through the side body. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, bend into the front knee, right arm reaches behind you. Exhale for side angle, right elbow to right knee, left arm reaches up overhead. Keep tucking the tailbone here, pressing the hips forward and then opening the heart. Get real light in that right elbow here. We're not dropping in too much. And then also option to take a bind, tucking the left arm behind you. Maybe a half bind here like I have, or you drop down into a full bind. Wrapping the right arm under the right thigh, opening the heart. Mm. Big breath in. Exhale, frame the front foot, right foot reaches back, high plank, lower down halfway. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. 
Good. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Big breath in. Exhale to flip your dog. Inhale, lift the hips. Stay for an exhale. One more breath in. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale, step through. High crescent lunge. Inhale, the arms high. <coughs> Excuse me, settle in. Take a sip of water. Ooh, she thirsty. Inhale the arms up. Oh, you're probably already there. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm. Keeping our breath flowing, strong breaths, big breaths. Breath in. Exhale, warrior two, drop the back heel in and down. Arms reach out to the sides. Gazing over the front middle finger. Nice bend in the front knee. Making sure that left knee is staying open towards the pinky side edge of the mat. Prepare for Trikonasana. So inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale to reach forward and down. Inhale the right arm up. Again, the sensation that we're like opening the heart. Inhale to reverse your warrior, bend into the left knee, left arm reaches back. Exhale for side angle, left elbow to left knee, right arm reaches up overhead. Option two, stay here. Maybe you reach the left arm towards the ground. Maybe you take a half bind, binding the right arm behind you. Maybe you take a full bind, wrapping the left arm under the left thigh, clasping the hands behind the back. Breath in, exhale, frame the front foot, left foot steps back, three-legged plank, lower down halfway, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right, inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Breath in. Exhale to flip your dog. Inhale, lift the hips. Stay for an exhale. Inhale through center, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it high, three-legged. Exhale, step through, high crescent lunge. Inhale, arms reach up. Settling in. Lifting up through the torso. Just growing the spine nice and tall. Breath in, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach forward, exhale. Trikonasana. Inhale to open the heart a bit more. Mm. 
Inhale to reverse your warrior, bend into the front knee. Right arm reaches back. Exhale, side angle. Left arm reaches up. Option to take the full bind. Exhale to release, frame the front foot. Right foot reaches back. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg up, three legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Breath in. Exhale to flip. Inhale the hips high. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged, send it back. Exhale, high crescent lunge, step through. Inhale, upward facing dog. What? I just said inhale, upward facing dog. <laughs> inhale, high crescent lunge. Wow, the mind. Hmm. Breath in. Exhale to open. Warrior two. Inhale to straighten the left leg, reach forward. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale to open the heart a bit more. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left elbow to left thigh, right arm reaches up overhead. Option two, take the bind, half or full. Exhale to frame the front foot. Ooh, left foot reaches back, lower down halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior three this time. Press yourself up. Float the back leg. Lift the heart. Exhale, slowly step back, warrior two. Cartwheel the arms open. Inhale to straighten the front leg, reach forward, Trikonasana. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, half moon, reach forward, float the back leg. Maybe you take a block under the right hand here. all the way back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, chaturanga, frame the front foot. High plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior three, step through, and then inhale, press up. Find your drishti, find your balance. Strength through the left leg, strong through the right leg, reaching through the bottom of the foot, lifting the heart forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, back of the mat, nice and slow. Warrior two, cartwheel the arms open, breath in. Exhale to settle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. 
exhale for triangle. Reach forward, straighten the front leg. Oh, I switched that around there. <laughs> Breath in, breath out. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, half moon. Reach forward, float the back leg. Hips are open here. Toes are flexing towards the face. Nice and slow. Bend into the front knee. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, chaturanga. Left foot steps back. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. One more time, each side. Right leg up. Exhale, high lunge. Step through. And then inhale, warrior three. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Back of the mat, warrior two. Exhale to settle. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Reach. Trikonasana. Breath in, breath out. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale for half moon. Bend into the front knee. Step back, reverse your warrior. Chaturanga. Lower down halfway. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg up, breath in. Exhale to step through. Inhale, warrior three. Inhale to bend into the front knee, step back, cartwheel the arms open. Exhale to settle. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale to reach forward and down. Trikonasana. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, half moon. Step back, reverse your warrior. Breath in, exhale, chaturanga. Or you skip the chaturanga and we meet in downward facing dog. From here, three breaths. Hmm. Last breath in. Exhale to drop the elbows, maybe one at a time. We're coming into dolphin. Nice heart opener here. Pressing the ground away through the forearms, spreading the fingers really wide. Arms try to stay nice and parallel, about shoulder distance apart. Maybe walk the feet up and the knees, tilt the tailbone up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Strength and determination here. You got this. Breath in. Exhale, drop the knees, shift the shoulders forward. Inhale, lift up, reach the arms forward. Stay for an exhale. And then inhale, lean back. Exhale up. Again. Last one. Good. Hands behind the back. We'll go for camel this time. So wrap the shoulders back. Scoop the heart with the shoulder blades. Now tuck the tailbone. 
Lift up through the torso, through the abdomen. Lift the heart. Take a breath in. And lean back. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep the neck strong so we're not dropping out in the neck here. And then option to take the hands to blocks or to the tops of the heels. Keep pressing the heart forward. Breath in. Stay for a breath out. One more breath in. Last breath out. Inhale, crawl yourself back up. Exhale, set the hips down. Hands come to the tops of the thighs. Close the eyes or soften your gaze. Big breath in, big breath out. Again, smooth breath in, smooth breath out. Feeling your heartbeat. Watching the breath enter and exit the body. Feeling the lungs fill and contract with air. Notice any sounds around you. within you. Bring the eyes open. Come into a tabletop. Exhale for downward facing dog. We have this back bend sequence one last time. Press through the feet, walk out your dog here. Really strong through the arms, really pressing the ground away from you. And when you're ready, we'll drop the elbows, maybe one at a time, or maybe both at the same. About shoulder distance apart, parallel to each other. Press the heart towards the feet. Walk the feet towards the heart. Look down at the mat beneath you. And maybe you find stillness here, feeling this anchored earth energy, really stable and strong to the base. Or maybe you play with lifting one leg, reaching as high as you can, coming onto the toes of the opposite foot, and then switching. Inhale. Lifting it up, pressing through the bottom foot, exhale the foot down. One more breath in, exhale the knees down, inhale, lift up, reach high. Exhale for camel, circle the arms behind you, place them on the low back, inhale, lift up, exhale camel. Inhale, maybe you drop the hands down and press the heart forward a bit more. Five rounds of breath. You got this. Here we go. That's one. Two. Three. Four, last one, fill up. Stay for the exhale. Inhale to walk the hands up. Exhale, set the hips down. Brief meditation, drop the hands to the thighs, close the eyes, breathe.
tap into sensation, the mind begins to wander. I'll anchor you in the present. Think the eyes open. We'll come into child's pose, taking the knees wide, reaching the arms up overhead or out in front of you, dropping the head down. Slow breath in, slow breath out. begin to walk the hands back up and then we'll come to sit on our butt extend your legs out in front of you Paschimottanasana forward fold so we're sending the sits bones back I kind of like to walk each hip joint back you can see how I do that I'm just going to shift pull the heart forward at the same time lift up gentle bend in the knees and exhale to fold. Go ahead and lift up. Take the hands behind you, facing the body. Tuck the shoulder blades back, kind of scooping the heart with the shoulder blades, strong through the fingers, spread the fingers wide. And then begin to press into the heels, feel the hips lift, tuck the tailbone for a reverse plank. Big breath in. Stay for the breath out, keep pressing the hips up. One more breath in. Exhale, lower the hips. And then we'll come onto our back. So scooch the hips forward, so knees bent. Back comes down. Good, we'll take one bridge here, or wheel, your choice. So if you're taking bridge, you're with me here. If you're taking wheel, your hands, fingertips point towards the shoulders. And then you scoop the tailbone and lift and press up. If you're going for bridge, lift the hips. Keep the shoulders anchored down. Big breaths through the entire front body here. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more breath. Exhale, lower down. If you're in wheel, tuck the chin towards the chest and let the vertebrae come down. One vertebrae at a time. Good, figure four. Right ankle over right knee. Open the knee first away from you. And then go ahead and pull this whole setup in. Threading the needle.
Exhale, let the legs fall over to the left side of the mat for a twist here. Option to keep a hold of this right ankle, pulling the foot closer into the body and then letting the right knee fall open. You can see how that really targets this hip flexor. Or you can stack the knees for a full supine twist. Inhale through center. Let your exhale guide you to the opposite side. Inhale through center. Plant the feet, left ankle crosses over the right knee. Open the knee, stay for the exhale. Inhale to pull in. Breath in, fill up. Let the legs fall over to the right. Option to keep a hold of that left foot, maybe opening the left knee or stacking the knees coming into your supine. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale through center. Any last postures your body is asking for, feel free to take those now. Otherwise, we will meet in Shavasana. Take up space here. Send the legs long. Let the toes fall out to the sides. Arms down by the sides. Or maybe you reach them up overhead, and that feels really good too. Take a big breath in. Fill all the way up slowly. Smooth exhale out the mouth. Shavasana.
Take a big breath in, fill up, wake up the body. Exhale out the mouth. Flicker movements into the hands and the feet. Circle the wrists. Inhale to reach the arms up overhead, big stretch. So I say to my cat, big stretch. <laughs> Ugh. And when you're ready, roll over to one side and slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sukhasana or maybe on a block. I think I'm going to sit on a block today. We'll finish the practice with a little bit of chanting. We'll chant Om Namah Shivaya. This is to help cultivate inner strength, um, transformation, and clarity. So you could either say it with me or you can repeat it in your head. But I always encourage you to use your voice, use your throat chakra. Take a breath in. Breath out. Fill up to begin. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivaya. Full breath in. Exhale it out. Just sitting in the resonance for a second. Maybe silently still chanting in your head. Really saying the mantra. And Anjali Mudra, inhale. We'll inhale to Om, fill up. thumbs to the third eye. Exhale to bow. Bowing to each other, to all beings, to this practice, to our teachers and their teachers in these capable and able bodies. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Um, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time. <laughs>